aromatic vegetables go in first. Right. We've got onions. We've got some carrots cut into cubes and some halved pieces of garlic. Mm. Now, next go aromatic uh, herbs, of course. We've right. got a little bit of marjoram to go in here, some thyme, bay leaves, and then in Mexican style, I'm gonna throw in a big handful here of cilantro. Yep. And the really That's interesting, great. <laughs> these people, I like them. They like cilantro. Yeah, people are really one way or another. They are one way or another, but I like the people that like it because it's one of my very favorite <laughs> My, my on husband is one of his yes. favorites too. Absolutely. And he always busts out his SAT words when he describes cilantro. He says, it's so <laughs> verdant. It's so verdant. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Okay. You know, gonna... and I also love that you use margarine because, you know, my mom, she, uh, doesn't like oregano, it's too heavy and perfumey oh, yeah, for her. Yeah. She loves margarine because it's a cousin and you get that presence without it overtaking. You do, and in Mexico, when you go into the markets, mm -hmm. you buy these little bundles of herbs and they're thyme, marjoram, and bay. That's right. And they're already bundled up. And they're like already that together because Because so marjoram awesome. has that very gentle aromatic quality right. it's, to it. It's mellow, it's not perfumey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. So and you also got fresh bay in there. Yeah, right? put a little bit of salt on the top of it. Now I'm going to slide in. This is made with. Just bone chicken thighs. On, chicken thighs, bone in skin on. That's where we're gonna get all Full the right flavor flavors. and super affordable, guys, which Absolutely. is what I love about chicken thighs. We're Absolutely. so forgiving. Then water. water goes in it. And the next ingredient really is the ingredient that I think will make this thing have the best flavor, and that's a little bit of Worcestershire I sauce. I love Worcestershire sauce. You know, it's like it's like soy sauce in Asian food. That's you right. add a little bit of it and it gives great depth. I love it. So about it's a fantastic. tablespoon or so of that. Put it on and let it cook for four to six hours. My slow cooker, I can have, I can set it so that after six hours it just goes to keep warm. Right, right, right. And then when I come home, I can have my dinner ready for it. It's, it's great, it isn't is. it? It really Absolutely. is. It's very comforting to people. Yes. Stage two. Right. After four to six hours, you're going to add some rice to it. Now, rice is going to cook very slowly in this, mm -hmm. so about an hour or so for the rice to get completely tender in mm -hmm. the slow cooker because the temperature is so it's so low. low. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now this is the part that I've been waiting for here. Okay. We've got. The finished soup, pulled out the chicken thighs. Right, of course, now taking the, can, remove the uh, skin you, and bones. Yes, and you can see some of the fat spring mm -hmm. on the top of this. You want that because that's, that's where the all flavor. the flavor of course, is. Yeah. And so we're going to slide, slide the this chicken back, back in. in and just let that rewarm in this. And the ingredients that we have here for all the toppings are avocado, chopped green chili like mm. a jalapeno, mm. some cilantro leaves, lime, lime. juice. Okay, Yum. Here's the thing that everybody needs to know is that if you're going to put raw onion in it the way that they do in Mexico, that you want to rinse it off, okay? Because that's going to Cuts take away. Cuts the edge away. a little bit. It does. Mm -hmm. It tastes much, much, I love you. Softer people. and it's yes. just a nice crunch. <laughs> yes. Okay. So here we've got the cooked rice and chicken soup. Oh my God. So gorgeous. Uh, Yum. <laughs>